Every single video on this channel is going to make you smarter. That's why you should subscribe and hit the bell icon. You know, I always try finding polite ways to ask questions, hmm. but I'm not going to make this question. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be a dark question. Okay, ask. Um, uh, I read articles about you where they spoke about a phase where you even considered, you know, something like suicide. Like, so what had like happened in that phase after you've had so much perspective? What drove you to that thought process? So I think rejection is something. I didn't handle well, and Re professional rejection. Yeah, I mean, it, it was rejection from on-campus placements, and you know, anybody in India or overseas who's gone through this process of what I call looking for a job on campus knows that that is the most stressful phase of your life. And like, if anyone is watching this or hearing this and looking for that, just calm down. I think that process brings out the worst in people. I mean, it makes you unnecessarily competitive, and it's a doggy dog world. And you know, honestly, till then, Ranveer, I had never faced rejection because all through my life, I was like a good kid, class topper. I mean, the only insecurity I grew up with was around my looks because of my neck issues That's and my weight issues. Yeah, and I think it's a little worse as a girl because, like, you're an ugly-looking teenage girl in like 13 and 40, and teenagers will go out there and say, "Oh, you're ugly-looking," and mm -hmm. you know, my mom happens to be beautiful, so they're like, "Your mom is so beautiful," and she used to teach in the same school. How did you turn up this way? Like, people actually say this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. If you see all that coupled with rejection, I think that's what. So I got rejected from a bunch of consulting interviews uh, at that point, actually seven in a go. And when I got rejected, I rationalized this later. So when I got rejected from the seventh one and I decided to try and jump off the 19th floor of the building, it was not even a huge consulting firm. You know what irritated me? It was the fact that I got rejected, but friends of mine who I thought had less grades got the job. It's like that dialogue, you know, in Three Idiots. Ke khud ki haar itni nahi buri lagti, lekin dost jeet jaye na. So then you feel even worse. So I think my inability, and I don't think our system prepares you for rejection, right? Yeah. You're always told, beta, work hard, keep doing your thing, study, settle ho jao mm. But what happens if you work hard and fail? Who prepares you for failure at any point in time? So that was my first bout of failure. And um, on what? Because I mean, I'm sure you've sat through many hiring drives yourself. Yeah. Now, what basis do you think they rejected you on? I don't know. And uh, I found it to be a perfect conversation, right? And it's not like I haven't been rejected after that. It's just that I handle it much better. But I always believe that rejection in some way is redirection to a better place. Uh, and this could even be romantic rejection. This could be romantic rejection. This could be college rejection. This could be rejection from, you know, I mean, you're going to book a hotel and you didn't get it and you ended up staying at another one. I mean, it just, it could be rejection. I mean, any kind of rejection. Um, for instance, when I was applying to college, I thought MIT was my dream school. Like, I wanted to be an engineer, nerdy, all that. I didn't get into MIT. Um, in retrospect, I think they rejected me because I was not the right fit. Maybe this consulting firm rejected me because I was not the right fit or someone else was a better fit than me. And I ended up at McKinsey, which was great for me. So I always think rejection could be just God's way of saying, you know, you're meant for something else that's a better fit for you. Yeah, 100%. Rejection opens up new dimensions. It that's does. A... And that's why I said redirection to a place that might be better for you. But you're not taught how to handle rejection well. How old were you when you had climbed to that 19th floor and that was happening? I think I was 20, 19 or 20. And what, I mean, you've already seen Nigeria, USA, Italy, you had experiences there. What yeah. was flashing through your head? I was like, why is this? So my, in my head, it was like, I'm a really good kid here. I really worked very hard. Uh, I went to Wharton on a scholarship, which was very rare. I've kind of survived all this. And how can I be rejected seven times here? Like one time is okay, but how can someone be rejected seven times after being topper of her class, going through all of this, being super sincere about everything. I mean, that's what goes through your head, right? How can they reject me? Why did you not jump? Oh, I was lucky. Um, my best friend at that time, who most people don't know is my husband today, he was sitting with me and he just called the cops. And he's like, this girl is trying to jump out of the window, do something. And that's when the cops came and they took me to this mental asylum, this uh, thing that existed on campus. And then I had to escape. And uh, my father was in a country called Zambia at that point in time. He had moved to Zambia from Italy. So I remember calling him at three in the morning saying, Papa, I need to get out of this asylum. And he said, uh, 
how did you land up there in the first place? I said, you know, a boy, I was trying to do this. And a boy, I mean, he asked me the same question, then why did you not? <laughs> I said, listen, I was with this guy and he called the cops and he's like, who is this guy? He was more worried about, I think, the boyfriend then the jumping <laughs> off the floor, <laughs> traditional Indian father. But that's how I got out of it. Wow, that's a very intense story. But um, you you got me. I'm sorry, I'm just a little blown away right now. So you know, I've lost my flow. Uh, did that did that add any layer to your personality just coming out of that? Um, I got when I finally after that I was a lot more relaxed I was like so I had a job offer at Microsoft and then I went into my last interview at McKinsey obviously you know in, in a good way can I say that you stopped taking yourself as seriously yeah, I was just like I stopped taking life a little less seriously I still take life seriously mm. uh, but I calmed down a little bit mm. it's like this is just not I was like okay I can't be this dramatic about everything mm. that happens in life you know I just have to Cool it. Mm. Uh, my husband always says, you know, stop and smell the coffee. Stop and smell the roses. Just calm down. Like, what's the worst? I mean, he was like, what's the worst that could happen to you? You'll get rejected by seven consulting companies. I had a confirmed job offer at Microsoft. He's like, that's not such a bad deal in life, right? Mm. So I just started seeing the other side of life and putting my problems into perspective. Mm. And, and I think that helped. Yeah, and you, now you're building one of the biggest corporate careers that India has seen. And, you know, I think... Telling the story, obviously, much later has helped me a lot. I mean, I'm glad I lived through that story because I also had the ability to tell it later. Uh, uh, do you do you think you've been free of mental health issues since? Pretty free, actually. Pretty free. I. It's not that I don't go through pretty crappy days. I mean, I keep saying one day a month, like I hate my life and I want to kill somebody uh, at work or I'm like, oh God, I can't do this or, you know, my team's troubling me or I'm having some personal problems. So it's not like I don't go through bad phases, uh, but I've had the ability to talk about it now rather mm. than just internalize it. And I think that helps. So that was probably my lowest mental health phase. Mm. Um, I think the last three, four years, ever since I have discovered the power of sort of sharing my stories, being vulnerable and realizing that I don't need to be perfect have been really good for happiness and confidence. Mm -hmm.